As we continue to celebrate Nurse Appreciation Week, we talk to nurses who are actually working inside the COVID-19 units. Every day they go in, they focus on helping their patients battle this virus, and they focus on helping each other. Here's Liza Lucas with a story. The only constant in nursing is change. The situation that's going on now, especially with COVID, when you stepped in those doors, you had no idea what your day was gonna be like. Things are changing, not just even weekly, daily, hourly, whether it's this virus or something else, we, we come together. Honestly, I just couldn't not help out if I was needed right now. When you go through something like this, you bond with all of the people that you work with, you become more of a family. While nurses across the nation are coming together as family, they're also stepping up for those patients who don't currently have family to turn to. You're dealing with people that are typically at the worst point of their life. These people like, even when they're at their end of life moments and not able to be in that room to hold their, their loved one's hand. And the nurses that are at the bedside right now, they're having to be those surrogate family members because they're not letting people visit. What keeps me positive and motivated is knowing that I'm gonna be the only person my patient sees all day. Despite the chaos of today and the unknown of tomorrow, these men and women are determined to tackle each day with empathy and determination. We will stand arm in arm and face anything that we need to face together. We're all in this together and we need it. We need each other. What you survive makes you stronger. This is just gonna make super strong nurses. It's one of those things that, unless you've really walked in their shoes, you cannot really understand the depth of what they're going through. Aisha, I talked to a nurse who also had been deployed in the military, and she said the bond between nurses right now reminds her of the bond she felt with people she served in combat in the military. I can imagine because they're all each other have too. a lot of them not able to go home to their families and, you yeah. know, staying at the hospital or even these hotels that have been extended to them. So this is really, really awesome to see how they're coming together an inside look that we don't get to see from their perspective. Awesome, awesome story. Yeah. We wish them continued yeah. safety and good health.